up, boo things? So, I'm coming to you with another review. I don't know if you guys are tired of reviews, but I've been giving you a whole bunch of reviews. But I'm just letting you guys know the tea on all the things to know. So, you guys are caught up. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, this is a review on finger licking Miami going down. Okay. <laughs> so, girls. Um, let me tell you about finger licking. It's A1. <laughs> I was excited there. It's a freaking one. Um, we went to finger licking every day in Miami. Literally, when I say every day, every day. All three days, we went to finger licking. Um, but it was worth it. Like, the food was so bomb. We literally spent, well, I spent because I treated every time we went. Because, only because Bay never been to Miami. He really wanted to go. And he really just wanted to go to finger licking. So, I treated, like, that was my treat to him giving him finger licking every day so literally spent what um okay yeah, i was like how much i spent i literally spent 150 dollars on food just at finger licking all three days that sound like i don't know that could sound like a little bit of money to you guys or it could sound like a lot i don't know but yeah 150 dollars um for three days just at finger licking but it was so good, like I said. I'm going to tell you guys everything that I ate um, and what Bay ate. You know, I recorded this in there in my vlogs. Um, they're there so you can see them. But I'm going to tell you guys, like I said, what I had each day and if it was good and blah, 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 blah. So the first day was Monday. I had chicken wings, fries, and macaroni. They messed up my chicken wings because I asked for a sauce on them and they forgot the sauce. Um, so they just gave it to me on the side. So, I mean, that was fine. But, you know, like chicken is different when you dip it in the sauce or when it has sauce on it. Either way, it was good, but whatever. Um, they had meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn um, because that was their special of the day. It was actually really good. Um, yeah, his was really good. And then, um, the next day I had chicken wings with the sauce on there, fries, and macaroni because it was good the first day. So, I got it again the next day but made sure they put the sauce on the wings. Um, so, yeah, that was A1. And then he literally got the same thing that I got because he said it was good when he had tasted mine the day before. So, he got the wings with the sauce on it. He got fries and macaroni. And he got yams. Um, yeah, he had fries, macaroni, and yams. And then on the third day, I got, I wanted something different. So I got fish, shrimp, fish, shrimp, and fries. And that was pretty good. I felt like it was honestly going to be better. It wasn't nasty. Um, I guess it just, I wanted more seasoning on the fish. Um, that's all. But it was really bomb. He got wings, yams, string beans. Wings, ham, string beans, and macaroni. He ate up that day because he was like, it's our last day. So, he wanted to make sure he going out with a bang. So, um, but yeah, he got that. And all three days, we got mystery drinks. That's like the only drink you need to get when you go there. Mystery drinks. That's, they're the best freaking drinks in the world. Like, they're so bomb. But it's really like, it's, it's basically like Kool-Aid. It's a really colorful, fruity punch kool-aid lemonade type drink i don't know it's good though um uh, and then one of those days they they actually make uh, a mystery drink with liquor in it which is uh good so Bay had got one on our second day there yeah he got one on our second day there it was pretty good i felt like it should have been more liquor in it because it was 11 dollars and it was pretty small but it was good overall um and the only other thing there is they don't do refills. Um, so, well, at least on the mystery drink, should I say. So, if you actually get a regular drink, which no one there does, honestly, everyone gets a mystery drink. Um, they don't do refills. So, that's the only thing if you want a refill or it's a go one or blah, blah, blah. You have to get, you know, pay for another whole drink. Um, and then I didn't get none this time because every time I went, they didn't have any. But the red velvet cake... But I'm still going to tell you guys about it because the last time I went to Miami, um, 
last year they had it and I got it and it was really good so I'm just gonna tell you guys like if you want the red velvet cake it's pretty good like I said I didn't get it this time because they never had it when I went but whatever and also something that I still haven't tried last time or this time is their freaking collard greens like me and Bay both wanted their collard greens so freaking bad but they only they said they only served them Thursday through Sunday and we were there Monday through Wednesday so we missed it so hopefully when we go again we'll go between Thursday and Sunday so we can get some freaking collard greens because we wanted them so bad but um but yeah um there's nothing bad to say about feeling like an far like the food wise the food is always bomb it's always on point the only bad thing about finger looking is it's always packed like that place stays super packed like it's like a club in there like it's literally overly packed so i said the only thing you always have to wait like a super long time to get seated or if you're doing takeout you have to wait a super long time for them to finish your food or whatever the case is so that's the only thing that I don't like about finger licking is how overly packed it is. Like, it's a very popular restaurant. It's, um, was owned by DJ Khaled or partnered with DJ Khaled or whatever. Something like that. Like, you guys should know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, so it's just, like, always overly packed. Like, that's probably where everyone just wants to go when they go to Miami to visit. So, which is, I mean, obviously, you wouldn't know. For that reason it's gonna be packed but that's the only thing that i didn't like because when i'm hungry i'm hungry so i didn't like having to wait forever for the food and then yeah um but other than that it's bomb even though it's overly packed uh was like i would still recommend it i would still say you should go try it at least once like you don't gotta go every day like we did but try it at least once like it's definitely worth it um if you're like a big soul food person like i feel like so, it's not even just soul food but it's like good food like i don't know how to explain it it's just really really good food like it's so good what i was telling bae it was like i'm like somebody's black grandma is in back cooking like because they, they throw down there like it's so good but um highly recommend finger licking finger licking miami <laughs> i'm gonna write it so you guys can look it up if you don't already know what I'm talking about. But I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. Like I said, highly recommend it. Go there if you haven't. And, um, if you have, make sure you comment down below what you guys got. And if you liked it. So you can help people out if they go there or whatever. And, yes, yeah, about it, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I love you guys.